I'm Dr. Isabella Wentz and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about food pharmacology or how to use food as medicine. One of the top healing foods for people with thyroid disease is bone broth. In fact, 70% of people with Hashimoto's say that it makes them feel significantly better. We see improvements in energy levels, we see improvements in skin texture, as well as people say that it helps them lose weight and get to more of a healthier weight. So, um, I'm going to show you a busy woman's, professional woman's way of making bone broth in under one minute. Alright, so, this is a crock pot, a slow cooker. If you don't have one, I highly recommend that you get one for yourself. This is amazing. You could turn it on, put a bunch of stuff in it, go take a nap or, you know, go to work and then you come back home or wake up and the food's ready for you. So for bone broth today, we're going to be using, ta-da! bones right so these are chicken legs and um, you can see that the bone is still in them I usually like to put three or four of these inside of the crock pot so we do one two three four splishy splashy they're in there next we're also going to get some vegetables so onions carrots and celery I'll generally put one whole onion in there I'll put probably five to ten pieces of or five to ten carrots and then maybe five pieces of celery in there now I don't recommend chopping it why because it's a waste of time so uh, the bone broth is going to come out just fine whether or not you spend an hour chopping all of your vegetables or if you put them in whole if you have a Trader Joe's close to you there's also a really close shortcut way of making these chopped vegetables actually just getting them already chopped for you and you can just go ahead and dump these into there. This is called Mirapaw and it's um, carrots, onion, and celery that's already chopped for you. The next important key ingredient for bone broth is gonna be apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is really excellent for helping draw out some of the nutrients from the bones. So let's see. Uh, generally I'll put one teaspoon to up to a tablespoon of um, apple cider vinegar in my bone broth. It doesn't change the flavor of it, it just really makes for um, a nice, rich bone broth when you pull out some of those nutrients. Last but not least, of course, is going to be purified water. I recommend that you use reverse osmosis filtered water. That's going to be um, that's going to have all the fluoride taken out of it because fluoride can suppress thyroid function. So we go ahead and just pour that in there. We want to fill it all the way to the top so that we get the most broth for our buck. Right. The next step is going to be to cover it and you turn it on and so um, there's usually uh, these things have a few different settings for them if you do it on low this will generally be ready in about 10 to 12 hours if you do it on high you can have it ready in as, as little as six to eight hours and you know you can go to work you can exercise you can take a nap I recommend taking a nap because or going to sleep because then you wake up to the beautiful fragrant bone broth um, smell now once this is ready and done, you're going to have something like this that comes out. And generally, you may want to strain the vegetables or you may even want to have them in there. You could puree them, make yourself a nice, rich veggie soup. And um, the other thing you want to make sure is you add in some sea salt for flavoring. So I usually like to just add in a little bit of sea salt and taste it and add it to my, mm, add it to my satisfaction. So. I hope this tip was helpful for you. Um, I hope that this gave you an easy way to incorporate bone broth into your healing diet.